Hey everyone, many of us are fascinated with celebrities and their lifestyles. Through interviews, social media posts, and biographies, we learn much about what they believe, how they handle fame, and even how they dress. But what about their descendants? There are some famous people who have descendants as interesting as themselves. So what about the cursed kids of famous godfather Marlon Brando, the Red Army father Stalin, and his granddaughter? Oh, forgot about Hitler's son. Some live weird lives, others do do crazy things, and even a few are involved in creepy goings-on. So today, let's find it out. Number 1. Danielle Riley Keough, Elvis Presley's Granddaughter Born on May 29, 1989, Danielle Riley Keough is known for being an actress. She appeared alongside Channing Tatum in 2012's Magic Mike, and she also earned a Golden Globe nomination for a television series called The Girlfriend Experience in 2016. What many don't know about her, however, is that she's actually the granddaughter of Elvis Presley. That's right, the king of rock and roll. Remember him? You know, once the most famous singer in the world? We'll overlook the fact that he died on the toilet eating a sandwich. Danielle Riley Keough has kept the long family tradition of acting going for some time, and she isn't the first. Not only did Elvis perform in a lot of films, but Priscilla Presley, Danielle's grandmother, was most famous for her co-starring role in the Naked Gun films. Working in movies has given Danielle more than just a career, as she also married a stuntman. His name is Ben Smith Peterson, and he performed some of the crazy stunts seen in Mad Max Fury Road, which Danielle also appeared in. It's not quite marrying Mad Max himself, but marrying one of his stuntmen is probably the next best thing, as they are officially maniacs. Number 2. Sean Lennon, John Lennon's son. It's pretty simple. When it comes to the most famous musicians of all time, there are the Beatles, and then there's pretty much everyone else. The Beatles revolutionized music and culture throughout the 1960s, but any thoughts of a reunion after they broke up were bitterly brought to an end when lead singer John Lennon was assassinated in 1980. Throughout the 1980s, a lot of attention was given to John's eldest son, Julian, who released a bunch of music himself. However, John also had a younger son with a second wife, Yoko Ono. His name is Sean Lennon and he himself has released two solo albums in 1998 and 2006. He has also produced a number of albums for artists including The Black Lips. Controversy surrounds Sean Lennon because while Julian Lennon was largely abandoned by their father, Sean was given attention and love. Julian Lennon also had a bitter feud with Sean's mother, Yoko Ono, having to even buy back letters written to him by his father, which Yoko sold. Thankfully, Sean and Julian have a great relationship, and both keep the memory of their father alive by continuing to make new music. Number 3. Cherise Evans, Stalin's Granddaughter Joseph Stalin was a mass murderer, perhaps even killing more than any other single person in human history. He was the epitome of evil under the Soviet regime, and America put all its efforts into ensuring that he did not become the most powerful man on the planet. You'd think then that any of Stalin's descendants would still be living in modern-day Russia. However, his granddaughter, Olga Evans, currently runs an antique shop in Portland, Oregon, of all places. That's right, the granddaughter of one of America's greatest enemies enemies is running a business within its borders. Unlike her grandfather, who was psychotic and celebrated violence, Olga is a Buddhist who believes in non-violence. Dressed like a punk rocker, Olga goes by the Americanized name of Therese Evans. We can't be the only ones to notice how close this sounds to the actor Chris Evans. You know, the man who ironically played Captain America. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice. But we did. Life really is bizarre sometimes, isn't it? I just hope there's no real Red Skull out there plotting his fiendish plan to break all of Therese's antiques. Number 4. The Brando Kid's Curse Marlon Brando is one of the most famous actors who ever lived. His performances in films like The Godfather, Superman, and On the Waterfront have made him the stuff of legend among actors and directors. However, some of his children did not follow his footsteps into fame and instead became embroiled in a tragic story. Born in 1970, Brando's daughter Cheyenne was at the center of a dark and twisted story. She deeply resented her father for rarely seeing her as she grew up. As she entered her late teens, 
Cheyenne experimented with drugs. In 1989, after her father forbid her from visiting him on a film set, she crashed her Jeep, breaking her neck. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. In 1993, Cheyenne was arrested for her involvement in the Cheyenne Incident. Charlie Chaplin made many great movies, and his speech during his 1940 film The Great Dictator is often cited as a watershed moment in cinema, motivating people to rise up against Adolf Hitler. Chaplin's great-granddaughter Una has carried on the tradition of acting. Most famously, she played the character of Talisa Stark in Game of Thrones. She started out as a ballet dancer in Spain, but quickly her talent as an actress shone through when she studied drama in Scotland. She is also related to the famous American playwright Eugene O'Neill. I don't know about you, but being related to one world-famous person should be enough for anyone. Una's just being greedy. But we'll let that slide since she was in Game of Thrones before the 8th season, which uh, the less said about that, the better. Number 6. Alison Le Borges, Alain Delon's granddaughter. Born in 1986 in Paris, Alison Le Borges is the daughter of French actor Alain Delon, who is in turn the son of Alain Delon, who was widely considered to be one of the greatest sex symbols in history. Alison has carried on this tradition as she is clearly beautiful. However, despite her beauty and appearances in Vogue and Vanity Fair, she was kept a secret for a long time. In fact, she was referred to as the secret daughter. You see, Alison was the product of an affair between her father and a woman named Named Marie Helene Le Borges. She was kept from her own family, and it was only at the age of 11 that she finally met her paternal grandparents. After this, she was finally accepted as part of the family. It must have been difficult being kept a secret like that. No one must have believed her whenever she told anyone that her father was famous. Uh, yeah, sure, Allison, my dad's famous too. Number 7 Paloma Picasso, daughter of Pablo Picasso. Known as a famous French and Spanish fashion designer, Paloma Picasso is also world-renowned for her Tiffany & Co. jewelry designs. She's also produced a range of famous perfumes. As if this weren't enough, she's actually the daughter of Pablo Picasso. Picasso was arguably the most famous painter of the 20th century. His work influenced not just other artists, but filmmakers, theater directors, and even musicians. Paloma Picasso features in many of her father's paintings. He immortalized her as a young girl in paintings such as Paloma with an Orange and Paloma in Blue. Just like her father, Paloma is obsessed with color. Her main obsession is the color red, and she's famous for wearing bright red lipstick, which has become somewhat of a calling card for her. If I were her, I would use that lipstick to make a painting. She could at least sell it then as a Picasso, kind of. Number 8. Thomas Martin Einstein, Albert Einstein's great-grandson. Albert Einstein needs no introduction, but his great-grandson Thomas Martin Einstein might. Like his grandfather, Thomas has taken an interest in science. While Albert Einstein created the theory of general relativity which revolutionized the world, Thomas Martin Einstein has saved many lives as an anesthetologist and physician. Many of those people might be dead today, as Thomas Martin Einstein nearly didn't exist. While Albert Einstein had three children, one of them passed away in infancy, while his two sons, Han and Edward, both passed away before the late 20th century. Hans had only one child who survived to adulthood. His name was Bernard Caesar Einstein, who was also a physicist and was Thomas Martin Einstein's father. People have always been fascinated with the Einstein genes and whether there's something special about the family which makes them smarter than most. If there is a secret to their DNA, Thomas and his siblings are the last to carry it. Number 9. Jean-Marie Lorette, Adolf Hitler's son. 
After the Second World War, anyone related to Adolf Hitler understandably changed their second name. Many believed that Hitler himself was the end of his line, having no children. However, Jean-Marie Lorette was a French railway worker who was, allegedly, Hitler's illegitimate son. The reason that people were fascinated by this, and a little scared, is that some wondered if the evil contained within the mind of Hitler came from his particular mix of DNA. If that mix of DNA made its way into the general population, then it would become more likely that new Adolf Hitlers would arise eventually. Jean-Marie Lorette made his claim that his mother had an affair during World War I with Adolf Hitler. He was born shortly after. Some historians have backed up this claim. However, with no sample of Hitler's DNA, it's difficult to verify whether more Hitlers really are out there waiting to rule the world. Number 10. Matthew Freud, Sigmund Freud's great-grandson. Sigmund Freud is one of the fathers of modern psychoanalysis. While many of his theories have been replaced with newer forms of psychiatry, he is still seen as one of the most important figures in the treatment and understanding of emotional well-being. Some believe that his talent and intelligence must have been contained within his own genetics. The reason for this is that several of his children and grandchildren have gone on to also have extremely successful careers in their own fields. One of these is Matthew Freud, who is Sigmund Freud's great-grandson and the son of writer and politician Sir Clement Freud. He has become a business mogul and is head of Freud Communications, which is involved in public relations and marketing in politics, business, and journalism. Despite this influence and success, he has had his share of scandals. This includes a love child born in 2012 and being banned from driving for six months in the UK for driving his Ferrari at 117 miles per hour. Maybe he needs a shrink. Number 11. Tony Castro, grandson of Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro is one of the most controversial figures of the 20th century. He was often depicted as an enemy of the West, but unlike most communist countries, his political power in Cuba never wavered before his death. It's interesting, then, to see that his grandson is reveling in a life of luxury and commercialism. This is counter to the communist ideals which his grandfather would have espoused. Many photos of Tony Castro, seen in places like Spain, Panama, and out in the ocean on a private yacht, have sparked outrage from those living in Cuba. As it has been alleged that all of his adventures are being paid for out of public finances. There has been so much anger about his life of luxury that some have suggested he should probably keep traveling, because when he returns to Cuba, there are more than a few angry people who would like to talk to him. Number 12. Camille Gottlieb, Grace Kelly's Granddaughter Grace Kelly was known for being one of the most famous and beautiful actresses in the first half of the 20th century. She mesmerized people with her beauty in movies such as Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, but then she controversially turned her back on her career to marry into royalty. Now, her 19-year-old granddaughter, Camille Gottlieb, is carrying on Grace Kelly's reputation. The only difference is that Camille has swapped the glitz of Hollywood for the exposure of social media through Instagram. Many have commented on how Camille looks very very much like her famous grandmother, and with her bright blue eyes and blonde hair, it's easy to see that Grace Kelly's beauty continues on through her family. Oh, and she's also a princess of Monaco as well. Some people just have all the luck, don't they? Thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed this discussion of the beautiful and famous and their descendants. We would love to know which celebrities' descendants you think are the most interesting please do let us know in the comments. And remember to click subscribe and the little notification bell up top so that you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Unless you're too busy being famous, we'd be totally cool with that. Might even make a video about your kid.